GH. Hey everyone, Devin from American Aquarium continuing our chemistry talk on GH. Here's what you need to know about GH. This is our general hardness made up of calcium and magnesium. The most important thing you need to know is that these minerals can hold electrical charges. This is important for all aquariums but even more so for RO and DUI water. Electrolytes are the most important thing for proper osmoregulation of fish. Freshwater fish absorb water through their skin and transport essential mineral ions from the water to compensate mineral loss in urine and diffusion. Most saltwater fish drink water continually, pulling water through the body. Some aquarists concentrate on just not having a too high of GH. You can have a high GH but not have these mineral ions. Aquarius will get concerned with respiration when many studies show that it takes well over 500 ppm before respiration begins to effect, be affected. It's recommended to have a constant supply of these electrolytes always passing through the body. Having a GH is much more important than not having a GH. Osmoregulation won't happen without the ions, so GH is recommended. It's like a constant water change. This is best for fish and plant health long term. When a fish or a plant is said to prefer soft or hard water, GH is what they're referring to. Both fish and plants need these electrolytes, so it is best to know that they are receiving the electrolytes than focusing on a specific GH. Water can be made soft but dose these electrolytes. GH tests will show high reading when in reality the positive calcium and magnesium ions are depleted due to the redox balancing. Think of a battery, when the positive ion plates are exhausted, the battery can no longer hold a charge until it is recharged. Ways to do this is using an AAP mineral block, Seachem Replenish, or other GH boosters. The difference between them is in how they're dosed. A block dissolves slowly, liquids and dry GH is dosed. American Aquarium recommends a bioavailable calcium, so this means calcium carbonate, calcium gluconate, but not calcium sulfate or chloride. Experiments have shown that regular water maintenance does not provide constant mineral ions. It is the difference between an open and a closed system. An aquarium is not like a river flowing over rocks. Other facts about GH. GH will generally not affect pH. KH affects pH. But there are a couple of correlations to pH. Most of the time when you have a hard GH there will be a hard KH. If photosynthesis is involved with a large plant mass, GH will help prevent pH swings, so GH is important for plant aquariums. For marine aquariums, we split this into calcium and magnesium separately for testing, but these two do act the same for salt water. That's GH. Hope you learned something new. Please like, share, comment, see the articles for much more information and related videos. Thanks so much.